Hello and welcome to Sovereign RPG. I am Sovereign and today we'll be talking about the newly added feature to upgrade your lovely C-Type modules into something greater. Well, if it actually works. Dead Space Reverse Engineering requires new components from the recently added Nihilus Dead Space Anomalies. In addition to parts from the newly added reprocessing of Dead Space modules, Meta 13 to Meta 16, and Faction Gear Meta 6 to 7. We'll briefly discuss how to get these upgrade parts, then dive into the process of upgrading the modules themselves. We have four unique groups of components broken down into the following. Faction construction units are reprocessed from the faction drops. For example, Amar units from any Imperial Navy module, Blood Raider units from any Blood Raider Dead Space module. Then you have the size device improvement mediums. These are reprocessed from any module of that size that is Meta 6 or 7 but unreleased at this moment in time. As an example of this, you'll have a small Imperial Navy beam laser will give small but a large imperial navy beam laser will give you a large so on and so forth now the size device compilation optimization mediums are found in the same way as the previous ones but they are from dead space loot the faction data compilers are found within the boxes found only inside nihilus dead space pockets and you can only obtain them from the factions dead space you are in all of these items can also be found inside of the nihilus dead space item boxes as well however the data Data compilers can only be found from those boxes. The skill scrap metal processing also increases the amount of items you can get from reprocessing. So it's worth training if you're looking to get into creating these parts yourself instead of buying them from the market like a normal human being. So now we get into the reverse engineering and the how to actually do it. The first thing you can notice when you first open the reverse engineering window to select an item to build is probably the very high is cost with the very low success rates. Unfortunately, this is about as good as it gets and it gets even worse for the higher tiers and failure results in losing literally fucking everything. The cost of resources for small or medium modules are cheaper, but the success rates still remain the same between tiers and module types. All C type and B type upgrading, regardless of the item, will have a base 25% success rate. This leads to big issues with the system that people are having right now. Very low base success rates, and the skills to improve them doesn't really give you an overall huge amount, especially considering X type success rate are as low as 10% unskilled only increasing to 15% at max skill. Failure at any stage destroys all the investment leading up to it, so actually achieving an A-type alone is a massively stupidly big investment, not even mentioning the X-type, which you might as well throw a coin into a well and expect a million dollars to fly back out at you. The success rates from upgrading one C-type into one X-type without a failure, while in a Corporation Citadel for the extra 5% bonus, of course, are roughly 1.67%. This increases to a relatively big 10.81% if you stop at A-type upgrading, which is where I imagine most people will stop upgrading with this system. Most modules upgrade to B-types aren't even worth it outside of repair modules, weapons, and weapon upgrades. And unfortunately, from a cost performance increase perspective, this doesn't change much even if pushing into X-types. Now, personally, this is not a great system. The RNG involved in this is absolutely mental and it sort of can, it, to me, it feels like it can lead to some sort of paid in RNG later on to sort of raise the levels, maybe make you purchase more Plex to actually get more ISK to be able to test more and get those better items. It just feels to me that way. It does seem like a kind of cash grabby type mechanic with the rate of RNG that it does have. I mean, it's so ridiculously low. I really do hope the devs actually look at this and sort of try to figure out a way they can sort of balance this to make it a little bit easier. I mean, max skills only adding 5% is kind of bloody ridiculous. I mean, going from C type to B type should be relatively simple. Going from B type to A type should be a little bit harder, but from like A type to X type is miracle level God maneuvers. Like you, you, you have to be the most lucky bastard on the planet to be able to get that A type to X type. I can't imagine many industry players are actually going to put much time time into doing that because of how much it's going to cost to actually get the success rate and if they do get the success 
Then they're going to have to sort of filter in the amount it actually costs to build it in the first place, which adds to how much it costs on the market, which adds to how much someone is going to have to pay for it. Personally, I wouldn't have done it this way, but I'm not a developer. I don't know what's in their minds when they're deciding what they're going to be doing with the game or when they actually add a mechanic. Now, the mechanics themselves are fantastic. It's just the percentage chance rate to actually be successful is so ridiculously low. I feel like I'm playing Moonlit Sculptor or some kind of autoplay game where you're just trying to upgrade weapons like Black Desert Mobile, where that shit can cost you thousands of dollars just to get the max rank in your weapons. It's just, it just feels that way. And it feels too mobile for me, even though they started off in a very good place and it started to progress become more mobile over time there's a lot of mobile mechanics that are being added which is fine i know a lot of you guys enjoy the mobile mechanics it is a mobile game after all it just kind of felt like it was going a little bit too far away from what it should have been and where it was in the beginning right so i hope the actual explanation of reverse engineering the dead space stuff actually creating the modules is able to help you please thank nina down in the comments for all of his hard work when it comes to collecting all the information available and doing all the testing he really is a lifesaver throw up a like to feed him a grain of rice Throw up a sub if you want more Eve Echoes content and all other mobile content. We're playing multiple games right now. I'm destroying myself. My brain is on the verge of collapse. Fly safe and avoid local chat scams. I want to say a huge thank you to all my patrons. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to continue doing what I'm doing. If you'd like to find out how to become a patron and how to get early access to my content, please look down in the description. Fly safe and avoid local chat scams.